here's a bonus section. Here's some exercises that you can do at home to increase the strength of your joints, of your muscles, in order to increase the power in your kicks. So the first one is very simple. It's just do a wide stand, wide stance, turn your feet 45 degrees like this, uh, or anywhere between 30 to 45 degrees. I would say something like that. Okay, a little bit wide, your shoulder apart, and then just slowly drop down, and then slowly get up. It looks very simple, but the key is you want to keep your back open while you do it. What I mean by that is how you don't want to do it. See on my back? See this? People do their deadlifts like this. Actually, not good for you. Okay, it's good for going straight up, but not that great for martial arts. Okay, so open up your back, lower your tailbone, okay, and then come up here. See, it's still open. Keep your hand here so you feel that it's always opening all the way down and all the way up. Okay, the slower you do it, the harder it's going to be. If you need help, go against the wall and do it against the wall. Okay, go up like this, up and down. So while you're training, you're training the back muscles. You're training the back muscles to be strong enough for you to do the expansion and contraction. Because your back muscles are actually very really thick and very really strong. Okay? And people do too many push-ups, I mean uh, sit-ups, and bench presses was good, but you train just the front. Actually your back muscles are bigger than your front muscles. Right? These muscles are pretty big. Your back. Alright, so and then once you do that, second way is now do it quickly. You jump. Do that, very simple. Do the jumps, and then do it even faster. Do explosive jumping. Okay, so you can get tired just doing that. Um, do that, I would say, about 30 times as a set, and then you can do the slow one after that. And then you're gonna be, you're gonna be shaking and all that. So then do slow. You know, this is a training you do with the rings, just like in Hongar. Put the rings on here, and just put your feet like this, hands like this. Just slowly go up and down like this. Okay? Looks, looks easier than it is. No, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was train your back strength, your hip strength, your knees, and all your joints. And your leg strength too, obviously. So the next exercise you can do is just pushing against the wall with your feet. So just lift up your foot, place it flat on the wall, and let's just hold it there. And see if you can put a little bit of pressure towards the wall. And then maintain this position. So we had put your hands up, put your pressure against the wall, and just hold it there. Hold it for at least a minute. You can't do a minute, do at least 30 seconds. Okay? So find the sweet spot, find the sweet spot where it is the most comfortable for you to lift up your leg and push against the wall. And then what's gonna happen to a lot of people is like feet start sliding, sliding, sliding down like that. But just keep it up, put it back up. Okay, so if you use the wall, the same thing. I'm just gonna put it up there again. Like Okay, and then just hold it there for a minute. Okay, and then try to push off this leg. The next one is to push off the leg, kind of like do little tiny, tiny pushes. Okay, it's gonna be really hard on this leg, but that's the point. Okay, so if you do it against the wall, do little pushes, little squats, little squats. Okay, so that's a lot of work. You're working your balance. So we've got all those joints at the same time. So do that, you do both feet so you get good at it. And then do the next one too. The next one is to open up your hips. A lot of us don't use our hips. You're really stiff, stiff hips. Okay, so to loosen up the hips, you do this exercise. Okay, so just lift up your knee and then do a circle and come back. But don't touch the ground. So lift your knee, move it out to the side, and down to your knee, go to the side, and down, right? Do that like 10 times or so. Do more if you can, and then you're gonna do the next leg, like that. Okay? And then the other version is to go uh, out and then in. So out, then in. Try to keep your balance. Do it without touching the ground, without this feet touching the ground. Okay, so do it slower. The slower you do it, then the better because then you practice your balance and your muscle control and coordination. 
Okay. Oops, I touched the ground. No, I'm dead. Nice and slow. All right. And then the advanced version is to do figure eights. Okay, figure eights. Okay. And you can do the other way in figure eight. Uh, now this one, do in and out, in and out. Or you can do out and in, out and in. And do the other leg, in and out, in and out, in and out and in, out and in. So your feet are doing different grades. So those are a few exercises you can do to improve your balance, improve your leg strength, and improve your kicking power. So thanks for watching this video on how to kick harder. I reviewed on how to use your, um, all your joints, use the compression and expansion. Secret number two is to use momentum. Secret number three is to use all your joints when you are doing your kicking. And then I showed you three or four uh, exercises that you can do at home to strengthen and to increase your balance and the power of your kicks. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and uh, click the notification bell so you get all the latest lessons from me, David Wong. And make sure you like and share and comment in this comment section. Tell me what you think about this lesson and tell me what else you'd like to learn. So we'll see you soon. I'm David Wong. Have a good one.